so we're on call every, every fourth day uh, during the week. We stay, we work a full day and work until 10 p.m. and admit new patients all day. Um, and then the night float intern comes in at 10 and stays till 8 a.m. the next day. Um, except that the night float needs to have days off too, so he takes off Friday and Saturday, um, which means that if our call falls on a Friday or Saturday, we need to stay the day and the entire night into the next morning. So it's probably a 30-hour shift. Um, I lucked out because this week my call falls on a Thursday, which means uh, a night float will relieve me at 10 p.m. Thursday night, and Friday's a holiday, so uh, that means I would typically get that off as well as Saturday and Sunday because my next call is on Monday. But I feel kind of bad about that because the weekends typically are hectic, so I volunteered to come in Friday morning just to help out a little bit and uh, pick up some loose ends. So um, I'm leaving early on Wednesday because I know tomorrow will be a long day. I'm going to cook some steaks tonight and relax. And uh, hopefully that'll be that. Gear up for tomorrow. Uh, have an extra steak because tomorrow I might not have time to eat. It's because that happens. I've, both of my call days, I've had lunch at around 5 PM, which has basically been my dinner as well. So. Um, that's what happens sometimes. Hopefully it'll, it'll get better and I'll have five minutes to grab a quick bite or maybe earlier in the day so that I can be energized for the remainder of the day. I have the Friday off on the 4th. I do have to come in Saturday and I'll be in Saturday morning to Sunday morning. Um, so I'll be splitting the weekend with, with someone else covering all the patients on our service. You end up covering a lot of patients that you don't see on a daily basis. You know, we have a team of, of three residents, three, three to four residents, and we divvy up a list of about 20 patients. And so you're, you're very familiar with usually anywhere from four to six patients. But then on the weekend, if you're covering the whole service, then there's the four to six patients you're familiar with, but then there's also maybe, you know, anywhere from 12 to 16 that you have only sort of a, a peripheral familiarity with. So. It's a little bit more difficult on the weekends. Eight hour day is an early day for me. Yes, they've typically been 10 hour days on average, with the exception of call, which is a 14 to 15 hour day. So. <sighs> so it looks like a good day outside and. Looks like it's gonna stop pouring. Oh, when really? I window, I was like, oh, God. Well, rain, sunshine, it's time off, so I'm going to take advantage of it. You, you take care of people all day, but when you go home at night, you have to take care of yourself. You have to re-energize and rejuvenate so that you can come back in the next day and do it all over again. You give all day, but there's also a sense that you have to feed the self as well. So, so that's why I'm going home. I'm going home a little bit early on my one lucky day to go home early, and I'm going to feed myself. <laughs>